Iran is extremely active uh, in the region with its negative activity, whether it's continuing to supply the Houthis with uh, weapons or uh, 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 endangering uh, shipping in uh, uh, the Arabian Gulf, which we, you know, I think we've got reports coming in today that may indicate uh, additional activity there uh, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, in being part uh, of the uh, destruction that's happening to Lebanon's uh, economy by, uh, for, you know, helping to in garner the political deadlock that's there. Uh, all around the region, Iran continues to be emboldened. I think the JCPOA, we, we supported it when it was first signed grudgingly because we thought uh, it was uh, incomplete as a non-proliferation document, but also because it would lead to an emboldening of Iran. We now hear uh, from the Biden administration, from others, that they are committed to a longer and stronger uh, approach to JCPOA. So uh, whether that's a re-entry into JCPOA and then finding a path to, J uh, to long and stronger, we are interested to hear that, you know, how we're going to achieve that, what's the strategy to get there. We certainly support uh, a deal with Iran, as long as that deal ensures uh, that uh, Iran will not now or ever gain access uh, to nuclear weapons technology.